these are your messages it is 7 october we are in 2024 guys thank you so much for supporting the channel you watch the channel the most aries so that's why um you get your own um thing that's why you get the most the most readings right so let's see what's going on in the energy today seven october guys 2024 seduction temptation hooking up third party so somebody is getting tempted by a third party and they're fucking each other uh yes or oh, if that maybe that's you or them <laughs> So they get in the dick, but they have no faith. They're not in love with this person. <laughs> That's the truth. Clarity and truth. They're just fucking it. No surprise invitation. No struck by love. So it's not a new fuck. Or if, if it's a new fuck, the fuck don't nice. So it's just. That's what's happening in your energy. So if you're not the one having the, the lustful encounter, it's your person. All right, Aries. Don't forget these are general readings. It's not a personal reading. Do not take it personal. Having commitment in reverse. No eternity. No higher commitment. No partnership. No completion. Because they probably have a twin flame somewhere. You're probably the twin. If you are the twin, then you're partying. Or maybe you're not partying. This fell down having fun. Happily single living in the moment. So I think there's no coincidence in tarot and fall down right next to the... Hooking up. So somebody is they live in their life. I mean life have to live, but they're not in love with this person. See it flip, guys. Go with a snake, charmed, and have your boundaries. I don't know if they're fucking more than one person, but this one have them under a spell, guys. Coffin coffin with the sunglasses with the separation. So I don't know if it's, if it's this is very twisted. If your person fucking two different people. One of them stuck in them because they're not fucking that one. Or maybe they're fucking that one. Or maybe that. Or you mean you guys. There's one body here having a lot of sex with one person or two people. And there's no love here. It's just partying and sex and life is for living. Abundance is here with the debt. Okay. With the mask, with the poker face. So... The abundance is fake, but somebody is positively feeling positive, having sex, faking the abundance. Let's 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 just let's just go Aries. Do we here already? How much of them we have so far? We have six. Clarity and truth, sword and a rose, and uh, determination. Somebody know what they want. So they just wait. Okay, they need time. Okay, guys. This is kind of interesting, Aries. I don't know if we've ever done it like this before. Either you or them trying to enjoy your, your young sexual energy because eventually you plan to settle down, but this is 2024, so I don't know what the eventually planning to settle down thing mean, guys. But we let's just call a spade a spade. Somebody like to fuck, so they fuck him. They know that way they fucking there's no abundance. They know there's no faith, no, no love coming, there's no eternity. But they want the abundance, so they're trying to take time to heal. So we have so far, guys. Either you or them love call thinking about you informing you with the sabotage in reverse. No hammering it, no working on it, no repairing it. No rebuilding and sabotaging it. So, they're planning to call you and talk to you and not repeat the cycle or what? Shocking sudden change. Somebody magic them. Don't forget they under a spell here. Eh? Boundaries enable with the charm. Narcissist, yeah. Self-indulgent, self-worth. Death. So... Yeah, it says so in the royal arts, guys. I don't know. That's what the magic is causing them to do. Paradise with the snake. Yep. So this is one of them snake readings, guys. This is one of them where moving on unconditional love ascension. So this is one of them ones where 
this person might inform you that they're not interested, they don't want it right now. They know what this is about, they know how good you are for them, but they're not in at that. Because that's what the magic making them do. Snake charmed playfulness paradise for the one we work in the magic, alright? So it might not be a long one. I just like to see how the cards and them uh, align themselves. We only have in two more. And then I explain it to you, Aries, with the tarot. No healing with the heart. It's, it's not coincidence. No healing the twin flame. No mask again. It's fake. Like, I don't care if you're my twin flame. I mean, twin flames feel it, yeah? They feel it, but that doesn't mean they should give in to it. Because maybe they don't understand it or what, what, what. Maybe they just don't want it. Well, yeah, yeah, but think about that. Maybe they, just, they just don't want it. They don't know how to let it go. Because they're down here having fun and they know they know that they're gonna manifest. Yeah? The abundance upright for them because the other part of the twin flame must be loving them or something. I don't know. Maybe it's fake. One more. Then we'll clarify the abundance. Separation. It, okay. What 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 that supposed to mean now? Alright, it put itself back. Separation, sadness, missing you. Maybe they don't miss you, I don't know. You don't miss them. Wedding rings in reverse. Union in reverse. Devotion in reverse. Heartbroken. Poker face. Old school. This person on the board doesn't really care, guys. What's the keys on a the ring? They underspell abundance. And when you know somebody underspell, you can't tell them. They'll never believe you. What's the abundance? Let's this, see this, the abundance. Yeah, unconditional love with the soulmate. Yeah, with the karmic. Somebody feel that they already have abundance. Dragonfly, lightheartedness, karmic relationship. <laughs> oh gosh, what's the abundance with the unconditional love? Let's just make sure, guys. Don't forget it says their charm, their separation in reverse. No cutting out. They're not leaving. They're not breaking up. They're not leaving the snake. They're telebearing each other. They're mirroring each other. They're flirting. Poker face with the blowing a kiss. They're fully faking it with them, guys. For money, right? So, it's probably you doing this or your person doing it. But it's, that's what's going on. In Aries, energy. There's a girl with a snake who is in control who is being successful creating paradise with somebody else who knows that there's no love there's no fate it's quite shocking sudden changing suddenly they're together there's no healing of no heart it's very toxic with where they are so i don't understand the abundance tell us about the abundance Nine of Swords. Okay, now I understand the abundance card. So this person is panicking about that. They're worried about the, the twin flame. Because that's where the abundance is. So they're panicking about whether or not they're going to have the abundance. That's why it's good to have tarot and not assume, right? So somebody on the board here is under a spell from a, a snake. It's making them act like a narcissist and they're wondering if they're going to have their... <coughs> their well, tell me Aries, because this is too long for me not to know which one of them is you. Maybe you are the narcissist. Maybe you are the, the twin. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Which one? Show me Aries. Because this is a comic. That is getting their way with a person that is worried about their twin flame, their abundance. So which one is you, Aries? Maybe you are the karmic. Ten of ones, upright. You are the one who is worried. You are the star. So you are the one who is saying there's always more than one way to do things. And you're not sure. So you are not even here. This one doesn't sleep at night. Ten of ones is a person who is resilient. They will cry, but they're not... They're not nine of swords. 
So it, this, so you could you could still be the car mix that with the tower with the five of cups. No, you're the one that get left. So you're not here. So you are the one that this person worried about. Okay. All right, Aries, let's go. So your person, let's continue. And am I right to say that? Let's get a different deck. One more time to see which one is Aries, guys. <clears throat> this is Kyrie and Tarot. My name is Shwana, yeah, guys. And Marcus Garvey says, we are people without a knowledge of their history, their origin, and their culture is like a tree without root. Yeah. Aries, let me see you just to make sure... Yeah, it has swords in reverse. You, <laughs> you lost your mind at one point. You're trying to face your fears. Ten of ones, eight of swords in reverse. High priestess, three of swords with the temperance, five of swords with the devil, four cups. You don't have the person. Somebody else have your person. You're in a body. Let me see you, Aries, one more time. Whoa, you're the one that is not. You're not. You are the healer. You are the abundance. You are the one that your person is depressed, nightmares, regret, masking. You are you're faking it. You're hiding, you're pretending, you're gaslighting. You're acting like you're alright when you're dying inside. You're not looking. You're in the coffin. Liberation. You are the one who had the tragic endings. You are the one who get left like a key on a ring. They fuck you and drop you. And they pick the snake, right? So let us continue. So this person on the board here is now saying four cups, five of ones, four pentacles. They don't want nobody, they keep fighting with everybody else because they can't let you go. Right? Right. So I don't know what, what what I should be reading here. The girl with a snake. Let's go. Let's just go. Girl with a snake. Two of pentacles. Juggling your person, right? Par um, partying, happily time living in the moment. High priestess in reverse. Manipulating your person with drugs and alcohol. Seduction. Wow. With the fool. Trying to get them to have a new beginning with them. <laughs> Cupid's arrow. Nine of Cups in reverse. The Cupid's arrow, don't forget. No love is coming, no faith. Because your person does not feel connected to this person. Nine of Cups in reverse. They don't feel it. It's not their wish come true. Nothing. It's just magic making them do it. Lovers with the eight of swords. This is you. Because they, they're in love with the one who have the anxiety. The one who they fight with. The one, the one that's going to have the abundance. Engagement in reverse. Not even magic can make your person love them. Look at it. Ace of ones in reverse. They don't want this person. They don't like this person. But they're still with them and not you. Sword and a rose. Revelation, honor, determination, and protection. Queen of swords with the justice. So they want to talk. They feel they need time to heal. This is coming after the abundance card. They want to protect you. They want to love you. They want to choose you. The clock. Five of swords. They regret it, right? They regret arguing with you. They regret trying to win at all costs. All the malice they did to you. Paradise. And it's an oracle situation, right? Ten of cups in reverse with the hierophant. They want you back. There's this harmony with their spiritual wisdom, the spiritual counterpart, justice. They want <laughs> the snake is here with the four ones. The in the woman at home that they live with is a snake. The one that's supporting them, the one that they're supporting, the one they're giving the energy to. The one that the public think that is so proud and happy and every fucking thing. Empress is here, guys, with the seven of cups. With the debt, like, what did I do? Somebody keeps fantasizing on why did I leave my empress? Or, you, or maybe you are the empress that's under a spell that you don't even know. What's the shocking? It just, it just jump out, so I don't know. The shocking card 
didn't come out. Yeah, page of cups, page of swords. Sudden change. So <laughs> maybe somebody is in shock that you, your person want to apologize to you. Love call. They want to talk to you or they're pregnant. I don't know, guys. Love call is here with the hermit in reverse. No, they think the one message in you expressing love to you, but they feel like you're going to reject them, right? Hermit in reverse. Sabotage in reverse with the five of ones. Narcissist love bombing the two of ones. So, wow, guys. Healing in reverse. Six of swords with the seven of cups and the wedding rings. Yeah, in reverse with the four of swords. Yeah, temperance. I don't know who, how this is going to go for who, guys. Because what it's saying here is that what's coming up is that somebody is still going to want to fight. Five of ones, two of ones, six of swords with the seven of cups. Like a literal mad person. A literal, this is a literal mad person. I'm going to fight. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to get back together. I don't want you. But I don't know who they, who they, who they. Because they have paradise with the snake, with the shocking change. They want to call you and tell you, that, but they think you're going to reject them. So now they're going to be narcissistic. Fighting with you. I don't know who they're going to be fighting with Tell us more about you, Aries. How is it going to end for you, this? Two of swords. You have two. Four of pentacles. Two of wands. Knight of wands. Three of cups. Three of swords. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's going to end for you. They're going to they're gonna come and sleep with you and break your heart again. Seven of ones with the temperance six. Mm. But it's not going to happen because the temperance is also here. You're very lucky you are going to be protected by the temperance angels. So I don't think this person is even going to get a chance to get in your energy. But that's what the magic making them do. Because all they think about is you, right? Let's, let's just make it make sense here. Gratitude and bliss, positive mindset with the unconditional love, separation in reverse. That's what they worry about night and day. Depressed, regret, remorse, negative thought, making a mountain of our molehill. All they think about is their person, the one who brings them success. Right, so there's a third party temptation here who wants a new experience. They want to renew a cycle. There's a new party in, party in happily single here, and it's a manipulator, high process in reverse. Right? This is the person who balancing work and acting like they don't want your person when they know they have them under spell already. Right? So this person is just, they're very protective of you. Yeah, and they're here saying they need time to heal from the conflict. The disappointment, how they, they, they break their own heart or whatever the fuck they do. The paradise, the happiness and the joy is like a broken home, a fake marriage, a sham. It's not real. Spiritual wisdom is here with failure, romantic rejection. They don't have good sex. I mean, they're together or they just waste of time. The other woman, the competition is the one who is in the home, the one who is celebrating the person. Right now, it's shocking. Now, the page of cups. What's 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 the page of cups? So that's the shock. Five of cups, like the page, eight of pentacles. Yeah, it's shocking. It's still, I don't know why it's so shocking that your person don't want this person. It's shocking that your person still feels this way. Emperor with the knight of swords. They're not showing no feelings. They're being very arrogant, very controlling, very practical. That's what's shocking, you know. What's the page? Like, I don't know if somebody had a, a miscarriage and the emperor, the, your person still not showing no feeling. 
Because they know he's a witch. What is the page of cups? What did I say? Knight of Swords, guys. It's shocking that with the tower. Uh, even after all of this, whatever, what your person went through. This is the tower. Queen of Cups. It's shocking that your person still in love with you. Hermit. They are the woman in shock. She, they have, she have everything. Six of wands with the ace of wands. So they feel like if it's seven of wands, right? They feel like if they come trying to talk to you, you're not going to accept them. You want to let them go. They want to let you go. Or you, Why do they feel that? Why do hermit? Why? Yeah, three of swords in reverse. Because they feel like you want to move on. You already broke their heart. They already broke your heart. But, it, but you're right, because it, it said that this is going to end like heartbreak for you anyway. So because they feel like you're not going to want them, they want to fight. Yeah, and, take a, and then take a break from it. Four swords. Tower. What did I say, man? With the high priestess. With the four ones. So it's actually not even you. They want to fight with this, this person. Four ones. High Priestess in reverse. Party in snake. Tarot does, it doesn't make mistakes. You see all these cards? They're touching each other for a reason. Yeah. Wow, Aries. So this person is saying now that they want to take a break from this person to get to you. You are not here. You are the star with the tower. You're the high priestess with the three of swords. Yeah, you are broken. You're in love. You're eight of swords in reverse. You're ten of ones. You're just maybe too broken for me to even ask you anything. Maybe you just need to sit down and just listen to this shit. So even if this person is under a spell being used, you have you're another person of them like a rat. I don't know if it's finance or if it's just ch children they have together or what. They're going to be fighting with this person. Six of swords. Like they're going to want to be anywhere else. Fool, yeah, death in reverse. The eight of ones. They don't want to change. They want to move forward. And they're not changing their mind. Can you guys understand this? The death in reverse is major corner, But the fool is also major corner. So it's like, I am moving speedily. And I'm not going to change my mind. So this is like personal transformation. Nobody is forcing them. Nobody is telling them to, to let go this high priestess or nothing like that. They are doing it on their own. What do they want to say to you? Let's let's see. Mm -hmm. So the, this third party tempting them and they're tired of it, yo. Somebody actually tired of temptation. How could you? I don't, I don't know. What do they want to say to Aries? Uh, Aries, I know you deserve to know how they feel about you. But I don't know. Because you are the one that they're coming to. Or you, are the, you are the other side of this. You are the one that they, they, they're worried about. But this other one is just filling up their energy, you know? Maybe that's the one they're sleeping with. I can't even get a message for you from this. What do they want to say to you? It's not coming. Well, thanks. The whole deck in reverse. So it's say, I repay our conversations over and over. I wish I could take back my words. Wow. They just keep thinking about the things that they said to you. Let's see how does this person, at least we're going to see how they see you, right? Like, how do they see you? How about that? According to your spirit guides and your ancestors, Aries, Queen of Cups, loving, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, yeah, protecting yourself from them. <laughs> they see you as motherly, you know. How do they see you, Aries? Queen of Wands in reverse, jealous, selfish, bitter insecure so i guess we have two different areas here because it can't be the same thing 
So I don't know, guys. Okay, the divine feminine, the other side of the abundance card. Yeah, how about that? Here is divine feminine. How does your person see you? Seven of Wands, protecting yourself against them or defending the whole thing. Challenging, struggling, defending them, defending yourself. It's a cops that they want a new beginning with you. You see that? Right. How do they see you? Justice in reverse, getting um injustice. Wow. They see you fighting with people who are not fighting fear. But they see you that that's one. How do they see you? Wow. So they're watching your story or they're watching your life? Oh, I don't know. Four pentacles in reverse, trying to let go of them. That's why they're here worried about it. Because if they have this person in the energy who don't tie them, then they must be the past person for you. So they see you loving them, but trying to let them go still. So what's the Ace of Cups then? What? Nine of Swords. Wow. This person understands you. Let's stop here. They see you trying to let them go. They see people trying to hurt you. Justice in reverse. Yeah, debt. Yes, a pentacles. Okay, they feel that you unfairly trying to, it's the unfair dismissal. You're changing. It's not fear. It's not fear that you're letting them go. <laughs> Why is it not fear that you're letting them go? They have a whole other person magic in them here, guys. What are you supposed to do? Pray for them, guys. I don't know. What are you supposed to do, Aries? Just in reverse because of that, you know, you're changing. You, what are you supposed to do? Come fight with a hobby a woman? I don't know, guys. What are you supposed to do? 27, 27 at a time. 27, 27. Three of swords in reverse. Say forgiveness, recovery, move forward with the wheel of fortune here. Yeah? You're supposed to let destiny handle it and move forward. Let them go through the karma cycles. How can you focus on luck in your life? Ace of swords. Talk about it with them. What does this three of swords mean? Six of cups in reverse. It says step outside. Move forward. That's why it says on the card. Six of cups in reverse is not being able to can't come off the past. But the card says moving forward, stepping outside, independence. Focus on your personal truth. What does this six of cups mean in terms of what A is supposed to do? Yeah, debt. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, all right, Aries. Be singles. Leave this person with their magic. The person with magic in them. They're gonna figure it out by themselves. Don't put yourself in this shit, because don't forget it said that they're sitting here watching you get injustice. So if they had a way to help you, they would have helped you already. But they themselves under a spell. So that's why they're here, worried, worried, worried. They don't know what to do. So you need to just keep doing what you're doing and stay away for a while. That's what you need to do. Walk away. Maybe sometimes you're walking away and you walk in a circle. You meet them somewhere. I don't know, guys. It's hard to walk away, but we do it all the time. I did it. I cry about it all the time. But, you know, let God do the work. God will do it. If it's supposed to be, if it happens, if it's not supposed to be. One of these days, we're going to wake up and, and just get on with our life, guys. We're not going to fight with nobody where do magic. Out. Nobody may want to buy the dick or buy the pussy and all that. If they want it so bad, let them go on with it. And if the person wants to be in this shit so bad, let them stay. But this one here, he say he's going to end in heartbreak for you because... <clears throat> I don't know what's making them stay. He said, cut the cord. That's what he says. You see that? Cut it. Do a little cord cutting. It doesn't always push a person away. But it, it, what it does for sure is going to make you 
put yourself first. If you have to leave them with this person, just leave them with this person. Especially if you're a parent and you have life to live and doesn't mean that you don't love them because that's what they think about you all night and all day. And this other person sitting watching them thinking about you and magic in them. Cause that's what, maybe that's what the one cooking for them. Because who is magic in you is the one who make your food, the one who you eat from, the one who you sleep next to, the one who you give your, like you kiss them, let them touch your hair, let them touch your magical places. You That's, that's how you magic, and the magic has to be re-putting itself all the time. Right? So it's the ones that you are around all the time, those are the ones that can magic you. This, this That's just how it goes. So you don't get to be around them because you're obviously not magic in them. So if it's not wholehearted love, then release it, okay? Remember your worth. The energy card, that's binding you to someone you no longer wish to be attached to or strong. You must be willing to let them go. Or you want to move forward, but you're not, maybe you're not willing to let them go. I can say letting go is a process, guys. So I think I'm getting better and better at it. Uh, I think it's better when I tell myself the truth. That, like some days I just these are no, other days it's a yes. And the more you do it, one of these days you're just gonna wake up and like nah. So I successfully like deleted folders and stuff like that. And now like when I'm feeling the urge and stuff, I'm asking myself the why is, the why I'm a woman, I'm a goddess. <laughs> Ten thousand men chase me every day, so I'm asking myself a lot of why, why, why. Uh, it's getting better and better, guys. So you can let go of somebody if it's, if there's nothing profitable to gain. Right? Close your eyes and see the cards of the gods and the goddesses. Right? Loving light, separating you and dissolving the cords between you and the other person. You are both whole and you are both healed. Like, I always see my person okay without me. And I try to see myself okay without him. Just as you shower and cleanse the physical grime, there is also grime in the form of energy cords, also called karmic ribbons, emotional cords, or etheric cords. Spiritual maintenance is required. Say to yourself, I am worthy, I am compassionate, and I am whole. I am worthy, I am compassionate, and I am whole. And you might say that it's not working, maybe because you don't do it enough. So do it again today. Do it again tomorrow. Do it again the next day. Do it again and again and again. Until you can get yourself uh, maybe free from this type of energy. Because nobody wants to be attached to a person who is attached to an incubus, succubus, witch. You know, this charmed seduction party who just keep giving them sex and money. And then they still don't reach nowhere. They still don't benefit from it. They still sit and worry about abundance night and fucking day. Imagine they have a woman with a tongue sticking out, but when they finish fucking her, they sit down and worry about you. How can I get to you? No, they like the sex more than us, they think. They like the satisfaction. This is a kind of person. You can't judge them. But just by how they acting, maybe they don't plan to have no kind of future by themselves. Because if you can't rescue yourself, it means you can't rescue nobody else. Am I right or am I right, guys? If they can't rescue themselves from a trap like this with magic, how can they rescue you? They're just going to come towards you, sleep with you, and break your heart. Night of um, ones, three swords. Or if you go towards them like night of ones, try to chase them, you are going to break your own heart, Aries. So you have to try and... Let them go, guys. Guys, it's a process. It's a step-by-step -step thing. You're going to be crying all the time. How many times in this situation, you don't know you're getting something like this because the man love you and you love the man. It's just that magic involved. So you have to just cry it out. I don't really have no better advice of what I'm doing. I'm just crying it out. And if I can survive today, I survive today. If I can't survive today, I will die today and come back tomorrow because I'm a man, I got this. Lioness, Phoenix. <laughs> But in terms of rushing and going to fight the next person or trying to, you know, get fat or get slim or see whatever women do. I try to get the masters, see when I go to the next country. Ben over make the next man fuck the thing, yeah. <laughs> Just make sure I don't nobody man. 
that you don't put yourself in stuff like this, you know, guys. All right? But the love feeling doesn't go away, so you have to make it happen. You have to cry it out. You have to laugh it out. You have to just... You have to just be real about it because that's the easiest way. Pretending about it doesn't fix it. A person doesn't love you. You have to accept that. Don't, don't, like, go and give this, the, the other person, this third party snake, no satisfaction because if it's one thing that they know, they're not this person that they're trying to fight with you for, doesn't love them. Yeah. They see it in the person every day. They know who the person want. If it's one thing about women, all of us know who the man love. Yeah. So that's the only nice part about it for me, like. At least as from woman to woman, like we can and we can sit down with any one of them. We try to ruin my life. I I'm, I can sit down I can sit away with one of them until I'm straight. You know who the man love. I know me the man love me, oh. I don't even know how me getting at this. But they one of them know. That's why they end up. Doing all of this, making you making you leave them, leave the the. That's how they punish the man, really. So you need wiser men to stand up and, and defend their own self, so they can at least have the happiness. That's gonna bring them abundance. So they worry about night and day. All the best, guys. This is, this one was hard, man. <laughs>